<laughs> Patrice, you've got one more thing to do and you haven't done it. You need to stand up and say that you are disgusted with the ANC today and you will resign your membership and stop giving them money. And the minute you do that, you are the legend you deserve to be. But until you do that, we're holding you to account for not doing it. Welcome to another episode of the Andilim Mutama podcast. Please do subscribe, uh, click the subscribe button so that you are able to follow us and get notifications of the coming episodes. Today, we're going to look at the 2024 scenario. We know that South Africa is going to a national elections in 2024. And we'll focus on one individual who is the mastermind behind the 2024 electoral situation. His name is Rob Herzog. Now, this guy is a nasty piece of work. He's a proper capitalist, very wealthy, comes from a mining background. In fact, most of you must have seen him in his um, recent YouTube um, speech where he basically calls out Patrice Mozepe to say that Patrice must abandon the ANC and he must take a stand. And then he reminds us that his family made Patrice Mozepe because they come from a mining background. They gave him some shares in their mines. And by the way, his brother, Rob Herzog brother, sits in the board of the African uh, Minerals uh, Company of uh, Patrice Mozepe. But the thing that will remember him for most is his very arrogant declaration that Futek ANC. And then he went on to present his preferred <laughs> cabinet. Now this man, he really believes that he runs this country, because actually he does. But let's backtrack a bit. The first time we actually saw Rob Herzog was from the images transmitted from the meeting in London in 2015 between Julius Malema and Lord Renwick. Now Renwick, as we know, 
is the representative of the Queen and is a trusted agent of British imperialism who was sent to negotiate in Zimbabwe, who was sent to negotiate also in Namibia, and then he was sent to South Africa to negotiate. In fact, uh, Robin Renwick, it's, the one is Rob Herzog, the South African agent, the London-based agent is Rob, Robin Renwick. Robin Renwick, as we say, also check him, Robin Renwick, check him on YouTube, where he claims that he is responsible for changing uh, Nelson Mandela's uh, perspective on nationalization. He says he basically changed uh, Nelson on nationalization. Um, and, and he was then sent to South Africa during the negotiations, he was here. We know that in 2015, uh, Julius Malema uh, was in a secret meeting. It's secret because the meetings of the Chatham House um, are never made public, the minutes. We don't know what they discussed. Um, but what we know is that the outcomes of that was the EFF moving into a political arrangement with the racist democratic alliance. Basically, Robert, uh, uh, Rob Herzog is the father of coalition politics. And um, what we know is that he has recently constructed a very powerful political tool by mobilizing the anti-immigrant sentiment. All the political formations, even social um, right-wing social movements such as Dudula, are associated with Robin Renwick. And my friend, Gatine McKenzie, is a close friend of Rob Herzog. Um, we know that Atlanta Lux is also a close friend of this man, Rob Herzog. We also know that Herzog, uh, Herzog is the donor, a funder of both Mashaba and Musi Maiman. See, the thing about uh, capitalism generally, the capitalist sends into political office its agent and it stays out of political, uh, the political arena. For instance, you'll never hear the Oppenheimers pronouncing themselves in uh, the political situation in their country. Um, however, somebody like um, Johann Rupert does from time to time move into space, particularly when he feels like capital is not pulling its weight. You know, we know this. He went with the anti-Zuma move. He pronounced that Zuma must go, and he funded the anti-Zuma movement. Of course, still, he allowed others to do the hating and talking. But Rob, the Herzog, he is an activist capitalist. He is actively involved in the political arena. You know, in that uh, Biz News um, talk he gave, he was so arrogant to the point of even announcing his preferred cabinet. He sees a cabinet of people that must run South Africa. Um, but what, of course, he did in that Biz News um, speech was to reject the ANC and to reject somebody they have built. He says, he tells us again, arrogantly, that they have built Cyril Maposa. However, they are very disappointed in Cyril. And this disappointment comes from Cyril's failure to dispatch Jacob Zuma completely. Basically, uh, the fact that Jacob Zuma is still standing is a big problem for uh, Rob Herzog, one of the donors of the CR17, and not only that, but a very active 
capitalist in the political space in South Africa. We know that he also wants to be given the airports uh, in, the, in the regions. He says that those airports don't make money, they are burdened, and he must buy them. And he just goes straight to the state and make this offer. Just like the Oppenheimers. By the way, the Oppenheimers have their own international airport within the OR International Airport. And how they did that, they went to the ANC, not government. They went to the ANC and told the ANC that they want this um, own international airport, which they were granted. White capital controls politics. But we know that that period when Zuma with RET was threatening. That is when uh, we saw Lord Robin Renwick coming out and organizing in South Africa. He's written a book um, how to, I think it's called uh, how to sell a country or something like that. Um, in that book, that's where he tells us about the meeting he had with Judas Malima in London. And he names even Advocate Dalimbofu as being part of that meeting. And that's where Lord Robin Renwick tells us that the EFF is not serious about nationalization. They just use it for rhetorical reasons. And they were available for a capitalist reorganization of the South African political economy, if you like. But there, there's a picture of that meeting where for the first time we saw a Rob Herzog. We didn't know it was Rob Herzog. So Her Rob Herzog is the man who organized money, took Julius Malema to go see Lord Robin Renwick in London. That is where they concocted the possibility of taking power from the ANC and giving it to a coalition of political forces which they control. We saw that happening in 2015 after the local government election. Julius Malema saying the Democratic Alliance, the racist length thieves party is a better evil. But all that was concocted in London through the conduit of Rob Herzog. South Africa today is sitting here with a situation where this mobilization on the anti-immigration program all organized through Herzog. He understands the black psyche. He knows it is easy to mobilize black against black and he funds this process. And we know that the 2024 elections are going to be fought on the ticket of anti-immigration. This is the creation of Rob Herzog. Rob Herzog is the organizer of the political situation in this country. I think this must be made absolutely clear that uh, this man is the biggest danger that we are facing. And he wants to control the South African politics so that white capital and he himself can benefit more from owning the South African economy. So by 2024, when we see those political parties um, getting into a coalition led by the Democratic Alliance, you must know that is the outcomes of this man, Rob Herzog's work. Now, he is a nasty piece of work. If you can go see, for instance, he formed companies, he went abroad, um, he, he worked in, in Wall Street, he, he started companies in Germany, but his companies were found guilty of corruption, money laundering, and this kind of criminal activities. Um, and of course, he, he then came back to South Africa, as we know, and now he's here to control our politics. It is key to remember this name, Rob Herzog, because he is 
as we say, an activist capitalist who is in South Africa today to reorganize our politics. And he has the money, he has the influence, he has the arrogance. As we have seen him coming out, calling his agents. I mean, he calls Motsepe to reject the ANC. He says, remember, we helped you, but we are very disappointed in you that you, do, you are still with the ANC, you give the ANC money. He says, to be great, you must reject the ANC. He's telling this man who he has established that it's time to leave the ANC. Just like uh, the, uh, uh, Ramaphosa, he is now moving away from Ramaphosa. He, he will, we believe, find others inside the ANC as well. Because capital always hedged its bets. Their first uh, preference will be a coalition government led by the Democratic Alliance. But failing that, they, if they can get a candidate inside the ANC who becomes the president, who is captured by them, they will also go with that possibility. Because then, as we see in this uh, period where their man, Ramaphosa, whom they have funded, is ruling South Africa in the interest of white capital. However, they don't think he's going far enough. They don't think he's been able to neutralize all the dangers which are there from the RET forces. And therefore, they are looking for a new arrangement of power. And that arrangement of power, they are predominantly thinking of it as outside of the ANC, where they are going to have a coalition of parties who are going to be led by the Democratic Alliance, so that South Africa can be safe haven for white capital again. And all of this is the project of Rob Herzog, this man who is a Stellenbosch key mafia, who has trained himself to know how to play influence, to play politics, and he is uh, now profiling himself, of course, as an agent for change. And his advantage is that he has all this platform and he's got all this money um, to be able to um, put, to push his anti-black agenda. So by 2024, if we don't stop this man, we're going to have an arrangement of political parties all controlled by Rob Herzog. This is a clear and present danger. Go check who is this man. You will see he is literally a thug. He is already, as we know, involved in corruption. Not only that, even here in South Africa, he has involved himself in actions to intimidate people, uh, to try to silence people. He, 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 he in one municipality, he even went to um, try to intimidate and shut people up who were raising objection to his development projects. And he funded a, a, a candidate he plays the political game and he plays it very well and he has the money so 2024 there's a plan the rob herzog plan and that plan is about organizing a coalition government led by the da and as i say there's still a small chance that they might find a candidate inside the anc they will find that candidate but their preference is that a government, a coalition government happens and that coalition government will be led by the DA and it will be pushing the agenda of 